Hello, today we'll go through how to install and configure Goland, the professional Go IDE from JetBrains dedicated to the Go programming language. Let's start by going to the Goland homepage. Here we can see a few sections such as the What's New, which has a rundown of all the latest features added to the releases, the Features page, the Documentation page, and finally the Purchase page where we can get the IDE from. The IDE has a 30 days trial period and there is an option to purchase a license either for individual use, which you can use for commercial development of projects as well, or license for organization, which can be purchased specifically by companies. We have some special discounts too. For instance, Goland is free for students, teachers, and open source projects and can be purchased at a discount price depending on different criteria. When we are downloading the IDE, there is a form we can fill out which will let us receive updates about Goland. Once we've installed and launched Goland, it will detect if this is a new installation or we are updating Goland from a previous version. Then we can either use our JetBrains account to log in and get the license details, or we can use the 30 days evaluation mode and sort out the license details later. Unlike a text editor, Goland is an ID which understands that we are working with projects. It can create different types of projects based on the options available. Let's create a Go modules type project. We can either use the existing Go installation or download one straight from the IDE. The new project is open by default in a new Goland window. The first window that we'll see is the tip of the day, which will offer us useful tips and tricks on how to use the IDE effectively and quickly become a power user. If we want more tips and tricks, we can access this window at any time from the help menu under tip of the day. While there are no project files yet, the ID has created a hidden directory named .idea to store the configuration of the project. Before we finish our short video, let's create a quick hello world example. To run, we'll use the green arrow next to the main function. This action creates a Go application run configuration and automatically adds all the details to it. We'll explore these run configurations in detail in a future video. Let's finish by opening Delft, the Go debugger. We can use the File menu and then select Open, which will allow us to select the directory. This will become our project and we can now develop on Delve itself. This concludes our short video on how to install and set up Goland. In future videos, we will go into details of how to configure the IDE, how to use plugins to add new capabilities to it, and how to increase our productivity using the smart built in features. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them in the section below, send us a ticket on our issue tracker, or reach out to us via our social media channels.